Hey everyone, in this video I would like to show you how to work with Polygon tool inside our new labeling interface 2.0. Let's start. Let's grab a Polygon tool. We can grab it either from a toolbar or by pressing 7 hotkey. Before doing any annotations with any shape, we are required to have an annotation class for this shape, so let's create one. Also, while creating class, you may assign a hotkey to it. All we need to do to create a polygon object is we need to place a couple of points around our object like this. And to finish creating the polygon object, we can either click on a green dot, our starting point, or we can press spacebar like this. And we are good to go to create another polygon object. Let's create a new annotation class. To do so, we need to deselect currently selected object by pressing escape and go into this section right here. And here we have create class button. Usually when annotating objects like that, which have rounder shape, we need to place a lot of points. And we have a feature to do this quickly. All we need to do is we need to hold shift key and hold our mouse one button while annotating this object like that. To zoom in and out of the scene, we can use the scroll wheel and we can use mouse tool to pan around the image like that. Also, while our object is selected, we can modify its points. By holding shift and clicking onto the point, we can delete it. By double clicking on the edge, we can create a point here and we can simply move the points by dragging them around like that. Also, because of our new auto select feature, we can do all of these operations quickly. All we need to do is we need to hover our cursor over another object and it will be selected so we can modify its points really quickly regardless of the class. The auto select feature is located at the annotation settings bar right here. Let's go through other settings we are offered. First is opacity, which changes the transparency value of the object's fill like this. Border changes the thickness of the border around the object like this. Text class and creator buttons display this meta information about the figure near it like this. Auto select feature is basically selecting the figure that you point at with your mouse. And the last feature here is randomize figures colors. It randomizes the colors of the instances of objects on our image like this. We can click it a couple of times. It is useful when there are a lot of objects of the same class on a single image. Now, what if you already have an object, but it has some annotation issues like I do here with this object's uh, rear side mirror not included in the main object. In this case, you don't need to create the object from scratch. You could just add this area to your main figure. To do so, we first need to select the main object. We can do so either by selecting figure with select figure tool or by having auto select feature enabled and just pointing at this object. Now, all we need to do to add this area to our main object is we need to either click on an existing point or click on the polygon's edge to create a new point and segment this area as usual. And now we can just finish by clicking on an existing point. And just like that, we've added our area to the main object. The exact same thing can be applied to deleting certain areas of polygon object. Here I've got poorly annotated area of polygon object. And to cut this part off, we first need to select our object we want to modify. Next, we need to click on an existing point or on an edge to create a new point. Then we need to follow the car's contour. And we need to finish it off by either clicking on an existing point or clicking on an edge. And we're done. And what if I wanted to annotate this road? At the first glance, it might seem challenging because the road shares its contours with cars and it'll be hard to annotate without gaps. But that's not the case because we have a feature specifically for those type of cases, which is called snap polygon to object. 
Let me show you how it works. So let's start annotating this road. We can go with our pointer out of the scene to place our point right at the image edge, like that. To snap two objects together, we need to place a point right at the intersection of two objects, like here. And now I can place my next point on any of the points of the car object. But I can actually go right, let's say here, and click here and it will automatically snap all these points together. And now I can click here and then I can keep annotating the road. And we can now finish creating the road object. And now let's max out the opacity. Deselect the object and we can hide uh, the car's annotation. And as you can see, we've got perfect an annotation of road. That is it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.